Lisa Marvin Art. I am going crazy for teal today. A few videos ago, I did all about the purples, and I thought since teal or um, turquoise is my favorite color that I use often, I would mix a bunch of turquoises that I have and compare them. So let's discuss. I use these colors a lot. For instance, probably Thalo Turquoise by Golden is the one I use the absolute most of. It's such a beautiful color. Um, what I'll be doing, why don't I just, I just have this little thing, why don't I just put the colors down? So this is the Thalo Turquoise mixed up and I will just put a little line down for you so you can kind of see. I, I just love it, it's so pretty very versatile uh the light is making it pretty bright it's not this bright hopefully i can fix the color okay next we have i'm gonna save these for last um why don't we do this this is a new one relatively new for me but i'm really enjoying the color it's schminky and it's aqua marine this is a european company so i'm not sure um you know if you can get it. I got it from Jackson's Art, which is your European. All right. So here is the Aquamarine. Okay. Now I'm going to save the three similar teals for last to compare. The problem is, so this one is Ho Holbein and it's really pretty, but I can't read the color for you. I know it says something green, and the French says Ver de Chine, and I don't know what that means, so I'm sorry, but this is Hobine something green, okay? Uh, I wish I kind of knew. Oh, Elliot's sneezing. He sneezes 100 times. Okay, by the way, this is very similar to the Schminky color. It's a little... Um, more yellow or greenish, I should say. I don't know if you can really tell. Um, I know they look pretty similar and they do look almost identical, except this does have a bit more yellow to it. Okay, next, let us compare the three very similar colors, which are golden teal, which I use often, Amsterdam turquoise green, which is also very good, and a new one that I got, um, Old Holland Cobalt Blue Light. These are all very similar and have minor, minor differences. So I will just show you, I'll start with the golden teal and I'll just do the line, okay? So we have golden teal, Amsterdam, and Old Holland. Now, when I put it down, Golden Teal, Amsterdam, Old Holland. The Amsterdam looks a little more yellow than the other two. Um, the actual Old Holland looks the most blue. So compared to these two, this has a little more yellow to it than this. Um, so that's very interesting. So in terms of a teal color, I would say the old Holland Cobalt Light Turquoise um, would be my choice. Although, I mean, we're just being very nitpicky right now. They're all fine and I use the teal all the time, but just looking at it all together, it's super interesting. Now for the piggies. Um, one of my favorite piggies is Pigments, TLP, see, that's almost empty, TLP Sea Glass which is this really pretty light aqua green. Let me put it down for you here. Um, one of my faves. Okay, sea glass, there we go. This is very intense. Okay, then we have TLP. This is a new one, a newisher one, Lagoon. So the Lagoon is um, a little deeper, very turquoisey, right? 
And finally, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see in this light, my, one of my favorite interferences is Glisten, and it goes like kind of turquoisey, greeny. Uh, I'll see if I can show you. It's right here, ooh. Yeah, no, I'll, I would have to do it over, hmm, let's see, I'm gonna just a little bit over the, um, Hmm. Um, turquoise, but still no, you can't see. You'll see in a warm light. Anyways, so here Welcome to Wooly Summer and all Mom do this if you love Oh, me. right, right. So let us I had an idea. This is what your, I love your ideas, Mom. Oh, thank you. So this is what we're doing. Okay, so I have the three piggies that I mixed up, the shimmer, the sea glass, and lagoon, and I decided the three uh, tubies that I was going to use is the um, golden teal, just because I use it all the time, the golden phthalo turquoise, and the Hobine mystery green. Okay? And oh, what. A, a Hobine mystery green? Green's my favorite color. I, but, Mr. Wee, come on. I, How can this day get any crazy? <laughs> okay. And what I've decided to do is I mixed up some TLP, White Haven, and my idea, which is not gonna work, and then we're gonna get annoyed, then we're gonna move on, but we've just gotta try it, to see. is I'm gonna make a wave. And making a wave, like, isn't easy with a bloom. I don't know what we're gonna do. Don't worry about it. We are using this <clears throat> petal um, palette, petal palette, okay? And we are going to like, from Fluid Art. Yep, from Fluid Art Company. And we're going to try to do it, and it's not going to work, and then we're going to cry, and then I'll just do something like cute and little to make us all happy. Okay? But you know, you just got to do things. Well, so now we have to talk about science. Science? Some mommies really just doing it. Okay, you go ahead. Well, well this is just the boring part, unpalkable part, you know? Well, no, don't bore our, our guests. No, Mom, it's, Mom, it's exciting. Oh. Yeah, it's exciting and interesting. You know, okay. 70% uh -huh. of sewage water. Oh, some... God. Please not with the sewage water again. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, people are... It's, it's, like, no one wants to hear so, about sewage water, right? Uh, it, it's important. Is it, though? 70% of sewage will actually... If you actually divide, uh -huh. you could, you actually might be able. To... Okay, let's talk about art. How's that? No, no more sewage. Mom, mom this oh, fine. I'll talk about something else. Election. Elections? No, definitely not. <laughs> Elections. Holy. Fine. I'll just no, talk about what I say. No. Thank you. No, no, no. I have an idea. This is art related. Can we just maybe talk about art? <laughs> no, this is the. Tio. One sec. This is a 12 inch wood round. This is my Glidden Essentials eggshell. Now, I haven't painted here in a while and she's been in here, she's been covered, but she has thickened a bit. Now with, it, it actually would be nice for a bloom. With swipes, it doesn't matter as much. Maybe I will do after this, I will do a little bloom just so you can see. When you have a thick pillow pen like this, I will get pretty nice cells. So I'm not gonna put too much paint on here because it is, see it's thick it doesn't spread but it does spread a lot when you spin it and i don't want to have to stretch it out too much so hold on let me just do this first then i will stretch it out and see how much more paint we need because i don't want to spin oh wait i see a bloop already hold on so while well, mommy's taking a bloop i need 40 percent of sewage water oh god no mo come on now <laughs> we drink okay so let us, okay, we're stretching, we're stretching, we're stretching, 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 stretching. And I'm gonna stretch this side. Okay, I might just put a little bit more in the middle, but I don't want to have to spin and, and do too much to it. But we're doing good. I'm gonna put a little bit more, but she's pretty. You know what? Maybe I won't put a little more. Am I living by the edge? I might be living by the edge a little bit because we could be okay. Okay, I'm living by the edge and I'm putting less paint than I normally would. Okay, now Mo, this is where we get Mom, do you do nervous. Time? This is where we get nervous. So my idea was to take this White Haven, which is a sand color, 
make it like the background and then do the wave around it. So let's do this background. Let me get the boob lays out first. The problem is, of course, I just mixed up the White Haven because I, I wasn't sure about it. So yeah, this painting looks amazing. Oh, does it? Thank you so much. Okay, are you ready? We're making a beach. Okay, here we go. And I, I did, this is my regular pouring medium, but I did thin it out slightly because it's not really holding up cells. It's just gonna be my background and it's gonna be gorgeous. Bye. Well, bye honey, I'll see you soon. I'm, I'll be done shortly. Okay. Okay. So look at this, okay? This is our beach. It's such a pretty color. I haven't used it often enough. Okay. We got, we got to talk, talking about sewage and elections, two of the things nobody wants to talk about. Okay, so color-wise, okay? And what am I doing? Am I, am I putting it like this, the colors? And then, okay, hold on, a wave. So the wave is like, the wave, ooh, you know what I mean? Like, where's the wave start? Like this? Oh guys, this is gonna be a disaster. But we're just gonna put the colors down and we're gonna do our best. And I'm gonna put them down this way, okay? And it's not gonna work, but whatever. Okay, so I'm starting with TLP Sea Glass. As you can tell, whenever I get these ideas, I get so nervous, but we gotta do it. Okay, here's my Sea Glass, okay? Now, oops, don't be a poop, okay. How thick am I making it? What am I doing? Because I want the colors to last. Okay. I don't know. Because maybe if I do this, the colors will continue. Oh, we don't know what I'm doing. Okay. This is teal. Now, I'm not, not going to put too much of the teal because it is opaque. But we're going to go like this. And like this. I don't know why I'm doing it this way, guys, but this is just what's happening right now for our wave. So we're going with the flow. All right, here's TLP Lagoon. Okay. I don't have a good feeling about it, but I don't want to be too negative, right? Okay, this is Hobon. Now, what I'm going to do, I think on my petal knife, I'm going to put my phthalo turquoise and my cell activator, okay? Let's make sure we get even coverage. We don't know what I'm doing. It's always a mystery. Okay, there, there's my weird thing, right? Now, it sure is sparkly though, I mean, can't complain about the sparklies. So here we go. I'm gonna put my cell activator on here. And you can see I already put too much paint. We don't know, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> We're just going for it. I'm gonna put like, I'm gonna load the whole thing with cell activator. But, I know, so this is what I've done. And I'm just spreading it thinly. You don't want too much, you want a nice even coat of cell activator. Okay, and I'm gonna drizzly easily this right on top. <sighs> Do you think this is a disaster already? Okay, here we go. And the idea, <laughs> oh yeah, so my idea is to start there for some reason and then spin around. I don't know, I'm doing it, ready? We don't care. Oh no, oh no, don't, no, no. No, I don't know what I did. I, the reason I was saying no, because the corner, oh, that's not bad. The corner was starting to dig in. Isn't that pretty? I should use that for something. Um, I mean, I don't hate it. I'm just trying to like do something with this pretty, I don't know, you know, if that did anything. Okay, 
Now, I do want to skewer because I do see a buble, and this is where they start to get annoying. You know, you know what buble is like ruining your vibes. Right here, right here. Okay. I mean, okay, like what is this? We don't know. I don't know what I've done. Um, do I want to do something with this? Most likely. I don't, I'm not mad, right? Is it going to look like a wave when I spin it out though? I don't know. Okay, let's start to do this. Oops. <sighs> Go like this, because I just remember I can't spin it out too much, you know? Okay, but do I want to do something? I kind of want, I don't want to leave that there, but I don't want to ruin it. Um, should I do a mini swipe? Do I have my little swiper here? I have a teeny tiny swiper that's too small. Look at this little guy. What do I even do with that? I'll try for funsies. Let me just put some solid glitter on the back. You know, see what happens. Oh, let me put some. Phthalo turquoise, there we go. And we're gonna go, ooh. You know, we're just like doing our thing. We don't know, it's not bad. Clean our knife, maybe make it go this way a little bit. And then I'm just gonna spin and see. Cause this was just a, an experiment. Okay, wait a minute, <laughs> move my paints out of the way. Okay, and all right, I mean, I'm getting kind of, yeah. Oh, I like, I actually like this look a lot. I don't want to ruin that. It looks like marble, which you know I love. Okay, so these, I'm going to put a little bit more paint here, just so spins off nicely because I'm actually liking that bottom a lot. Um, and I actually want to do just that on the floor because it looks like a agate or something. Okay. Now. I'm going to put a little off. Okay, we're going to go slow. I mean, is it giving wave? We don't know. But it's definitely better than I thought, I must say. You know what I mean? Um, I could, like, when it dries, you know, put more white at the top, at the, I don't want to get paint on it, but, you know, like paint in some things, but it's not. Horrible. Can we get it off to the side a little bit? Oh, shit, six. Um, obviously, the colors are nice. It's very hard to do something abstract with something that you can't control with the bloom. You know what I mean? It's much easier if you're like just paint pouring or blah, blah, blah. But like, there's so many other things. Uh, okay, I mean, Whatever, it's not horrible. It's a good start. I definitely might paint in <laughs> some things, um, but I like the colors. And now I will do the bloom that I promised you, like cute little blooms. Um, but let's see. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's definitely an abstract wave. I definitely wanna do more of these marbly situations. And there, I mean, better than I thought. Let's say that. I didn't, I don't have to quit life, you know? So let me do a close up uh, and then we'll do cute little bloomies. Hi. 
Hi, okay, so I have an eight inch round here. I'm gonna put my pillow paint down. See how she does. Thinking, now I wanna try mini wave, but first I'll do a bloomy for you. Okay. How are we here? Yep, plenty, 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 plenty. Okay. So now, let me go like this. So I'll probably kind of layer the same way because it seemed to work nicely. So we'll start with sea glass. All right, these are, and they have, they're a little slightly thicker. I don't mind my pigments thicker. My paints may be slightly thicker than I normally, oops, that, I don't know what that was. Hold on. We don't want whatever that is in there, do we? Hmm. Was that anything? We don't know. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look, that was something strange. Okay. Um, next we will do a bit of the teal. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to switch that up. I'm going to do a bit of the Hobine. Okay. Now I will do I've done this. I've done this. Just trying to keep it in order here. I'll do the Mm, lagoon. Okay. Then I will do the teal. It's quite blue, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Then I will do the shimmer and then I will top it off with the turquoise. Um, I do want to move these paints out of the way before I spin. One moment, please. Then we'll make a cute little bloomy, and then maybe we'll see if I could do a little beach. You know what I mean? Like the one I did was obviously not, oops, obviously not perfect. We can imp improve upon, as always. Uh, okay, here we go. Now, here we go. Let's, oh, those are huge cells. What's going on over there? Let's see what happens. Okay, it's like a little splash of water, you know. Cute. I mean, nothing fancy, nothing crazy, just like a cute little seaside bloom, you know. Um, so let's discuss, should I do a mini wave? This is really cute. I mean, it is very one note, right? Because it is just all blue. Um, but I mean, you know, if you like blue, this is the way to go. Uh, all right, let's spin her out and then we'll discuss what's happening next. Those cells in the middle are going to get huge. Oops, that was not a good spin. Um, so, do you think I should do a mini beach? This bloom kind of borders me, to be honest. And if I trash it, I know some of you will yell at me and say that I'm too picky, which is the truth. But also, I'm quick to trash things, and then people are saying, well, you know, sometimes I go back and I was like, oh, I should have trashed that. That was nice. So maybe I won't trash it. But I mean, it's just very, let me see in the light. Hold on. Yeah. You know what? The sparkles are cute, but I'm just not loving because the paint was so thick. 
I should have made a bigger puddle. Oh, you guys are gonna be so mad at me. I'm redoing. <laughs> Only because, you see how it's white around the edges? That's because I, my puddle wasn't big enough and I just was blowing too thin um, over the paint, okay? So don't be mad when I'm trashing it because it could be really, really pretty if I do a better job. So let's do a better job. Bye. See you later. Okay. So what we've learned is we're putting a bigger puddle. So when I blow, and I'm gonna put a bigger, also a bigger puddle of cell activator. That was my problem. I knew, I had a feeling it was too thin, but I just didn't trust my gut. And you gotta trust your gut. Okay. Because we want enough paint to go move across when I blow. Because the colors are just so delicious. They wanna be appreciated, you know what I mean? Okay. And a little bit of the teal. Oh, it's going. Let's just move back to the center, shall we? A little bit of the teal like that. Okay. And then this. Okay. And that's why, like, you know, everyone you learn and every day you're like oh today i need to do this or you know put a little bit more or it doesn't always just happen perfectly despite popular belief okay shall we try this again all right so we're gonna move back to the middle we're gonna get some boobies out i'm gonna put a bigger puddle of cell activator and it's gonna be really pretty. I demand it. Okay. Yeah. Dizzy, one moment. See, the lot, there's no white at the ends, so that was a good move. I am getting big cells today. Still trying to break it up, but cute little, I really like the look of these cells. They're really like pomegranate seeds, even though it's not the color. But they're so pomegranate-y. I love their little shapes today. Don't ask me why. Je ne sais pas. The luck of the draw today. You know? Meanwhile, while we're waiting, I'll do a little... I don't really need squigglies, but... I'm here, so why not, right? I'm just gonna do, like, light squigglies. That you probably won't even see. I'm glad I redid it and I hope I see a bloopy thing here. I don't like. Whatever. I hope you guys are glad I redid it too. Okay. I think there's a better color coverage and better color representation, right? All right. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick beach swipe since I told you guys I would, but I think these are the cutest little cells. Um, what am I doing? Yeah, I'll do it on another eight inch. The problem is my swiper situation. Look at these little juicy cells, right? They're cute, they're happy. All right, so I'm gonna bring you to the light so you can see the fun sparkle. Then we're gonna make a quick beach. Look at this huge monstrosity of cells. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. 
Okay, for the big finale, I don't know if it's the big finale because usually those are better than the previous ones. We're not sure. I think I'm going to do just like bloop. I don't know, right? Okay, let's see. Again, I don't want to put too much pillow paint down. And I'll do the same kind of idea. Uh, right? Same kind of idea. Like there's a little bloop in there we want to get. Uh, where is it? No. Um, sometimes I see a bloop and then, you know, let's just get it off, whatever it is. Okay. And now, should I do the same, like, double? I don't think I need the double color because it's such a small um, surface. So I'll just do the one line, right? So it'll be like a half spin swipe, basically. Um, so let's go. I'm going to do a line. Half spin swipe. And here we have... Um, sea glass. Okay. Then we have a line. Okay. Then we have a lagoon. Then I'll do a bit of the teal. Okay, then I will do a lot of the shimmer because I love it. So, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to load my palette knife with my cell activator. Make sure it's clean. No, I just made it dirty. One sec. I'm going to load with the cell activator and then the turquoise. Wait, I see paint. You don't want any of that paint there. Okay. And I'm going to, although I'm not even using the whole flat of it, I don't care. Because technically I'm just using the side of it, like this side. So, oh, hold on. We're going overboard here. So how did I say? Yeah, okay, I'll go like that. Um, so I definitely want to put the turquoise on the edge, at least, you know? Okay. So here we are. What am I doing? I'm going to do it. Here's the wave. It goes, it goes, I'm doing half. It goes around, okay, and then it goes what I mean technically that's a wave that's actually that is a wave I don't want to waste any of this fun stuff here not like we're gonna but I'll just for fun why not just do this we don't know if we're gonna see it but you know okay look at that that's a cute little wave but now I have to stretch it out and God knows what it's going to look like. But at least I'm happy I got my original wave. I wish I could leave it like that. But obviously we can't. Okay, let's get this off the edges. I'm going to do a little spin first. Okay. All right. Spin slow and then we'll kind of stretch it where it needs to go right it does look like a wave to me if you ask me <laughs> waves are hard for me you could tell so if i get even something a semblance of a wave huh hello that's cute too bad i have to spin it but i like my little wave how much more paint have we got can i go you know what i don't even have to spin it that much more which makes me happy just gonna stretch it out a little bit this way Huh. You're probably like, that's an ugly little wave. But I don't care. I'm proud of my little wave. <laughs> okay. Don't 
tell me about waves. How are we doing? Can we? I can get away with like one more little spin and that's it. Um, which I'm kind of happy about. Okay, so thank you for bearing with me for the wave challenge. I like her, okay? I'm gonna show you a close up in a minute. I, again, I know it's nothing special and doesn't like really look like a really wave, but at least it's like, you can kind of guess, right? If I said, what is that? You wouldn't say it's like a flower, you would say it's a wave. So mission accomplished. <laughs> um, if you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and you want to see more fun videos, uh, you know what to do, subscribe. And also, by the way, if you want to head over to my Patreon account and we have fun monthly giveaways and I do like uh, color palette challenges and we talk about blooms and it's really fun, check out the link in my bio. I had so much fun. Love you guys. Bye.